All right, now that we have that information, we can use that for lots of other things. Let's say we're going on a leg that we've planned a route, and that leg is 275 meters. We want to know how many paces we have to walk to get that 275 meters. Now, we know that we're going to drop two beads, and then we're going to have 75 meters left over. So if we know our total number of paces, it's a lot easier to figure that out. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to move this red sliding line to 275, which is going to be, there's 250, there's 275. We're going to slide the C scale over till the 1.6 is just over the top of that same red line at the 250 mark. And then we're going to look down here at the C scale and it's on the D scale, excuse me, and it says 1.7, which is 170 paces, 170 paces total. All right. If we do the math on that, 275 divided by 1.6, 171, 172 paces. So a couple paces different than what we said. We weren't looking really close at the scale. We could get closer if we really, really looked at it, okay? But even that gets you within two paces. Now, all you have to figure out is what's 124 subtracted from 170, and you got a pretty simple, easy answer of what, 46? You're going to be 46 paces after your second bead, and you should be close to your target, always knowing you have to walk further.